everyone it's that time again i can't believe it comes on so quickly every month um but it's time to show you what is in september's natural beauty box so i unbox this every month those of you who are kind of regulars will, will recognize this box will know that it's my favorite and um, but for those of you who maybe aren't familiar with it or who haven't seen it before they are a monthly subscription um, and they provide natural beauty products that are cruelty free as well often vegan, often organic. They try and be plastic free as much as possible as well. Um, and it's my absolute favorite. I've never had a box from them that has been bad. I've never had a box from them where there's been items in there that I've not really been all that fussed about or that I haven't been able to use. I've managed to discover some pretty amazing brands um, by being subscribed to them that I've then gone on to, to repurchase and be a, a regular user of. Uh, and I've also discovered um, some old favourites as well. Um, so the box itself is pretty um, simple, just comes with the um, Natural Beauty Box sticker on the front. Um, and they kind of let the inside, the contents do the talking, shall we say. So every month there's a different theme. Um, and the um, theme is replenish. Um, so that's what the theme is this month. I'm just going to keep the um, the product card just to the side here, just obviously, so I can refer to it as I'm going along. But I'm going to just open this out and I'll try and hold it up for you without everything falling out. Um, here we go. So I can already see a couple of brands in here that I've used before and I can already see a couple of brands in here that I haven't used before. So always a good mix. Right, so this is the first one I'm going to show you and this is actually, I've seen this spoiler on their Instagram already. So I am, I was aware of this, I was expecting this to be in the box and I was very excited when I saw it. Um, this is a brand that I've used multiple times before. I currently am actually using one of their lip balms. Um, and I've used body lotions by them before, body scrubs, lots and lots of different ones. Um, big fan of them. And it is um, Bio, I think that's what it is, or Bio um, Skincare's Restorative Beauty Oil. Now this is worth £27 just on its own. So this product itself is worth more than the actual entire um, price of the box. Um, but this contains a blend of organic plant and flower oils to make a must-have uh, in any skincare routine. Your skin will drink every last drop, leaving it supple, dewy and radiant. It's perfect for oily and combination skin. Deeply nourishes, softens and replenishes every skin cell. So I'm just going to have a look and see if it says anything else. So it's organic, vegan, natural. Um, and cruelty free of course uh, and I've, as I say I've tried a lot of items from them before and the reason I was so excited to, to receive this is one because it's a product that I've not tried before and I do love an oil and um, but also because of the quality of the other products of theirs that I've tried before I knew that this would be well worth it as well so it's 30 millilitres but with an oil you don't actually need a lot so you pretty much only need like a pea-sized amount and that will cover your entire face so this will probably still last quite a while um and it's obviously got a pump dispenser in there as well so you can make sure that you get the right amount of product i find sometimes with with oils um if it's just like a screw top and you pour it out you can end up getting far too much out but with a, a pump dispenser for oils it's much easier to get the right amount out that you need so that's item number one and then we have another brand that I've used before um, and this is Kathleen Naturals Great Britain and it's their Dead Sea Mud Clay Mask. So this is worth £19 and it contains kaolin clay and dead sea mud to draw out dirt, impurities and toxins as well as absorbing excess oil. It visibly improves the look of pores and skin texture and makes the skin look brighter and feel thoroughly cleansed. Um, so it's detoxing, hydrating and nourishing, 100% pure and natural, vegan friendly, made in the UK um, and yeah, not tested on animals of course. So let's have a little look inside. So there's the texture, um, it's kind of like a whipped clay and it smells really nice actually. So sometimes with clay masks, because they're then obviously natural products, clay doesn't really smell all that great. Um, there's something in there, I'm trying to figure out what it is, um, that smells really nice. Ah, it's probably the, the frankincense. 
um, and the geranium that's in there and also lemon. Um, so yeah, there's a few things in there that could probably be contributing to the very pleasant smell. Uh, but basically you just apply a thin layer, leave it for 10 to 15 minutes and then wash it off. What I sometimes will do is I will wash it off with a damp face cloth, so like a muslin cloth or a flannel, um, and then just kind of splash my face afterwards to make sure I've got the rest of it off. But as it's perfect for kind of oily um, combination skin, I'm kind of looking forward to trying this out. Um, I mean, I don't have oily combination skin by design. Uh, however, I do kind of suffer a little bit from breakouts sometimes, particularly since uh, I mentioned before I had a reaction to uh, some medication that I was put on last year, which kind of brought me out in a few hormonal spots, uh, mostly around kind of my chin. Um, so it's nice to have products like this around that I can use. Um, I mean, it detoxes, which is great, but it also hydrates. So sometimes you find that with products that are designed for oily skin or for, um, to, to target spots, sometimes it can dry your skin out inadvertently. Um, so it's good that this kind of detoxes, but it also hydrates the skin so it's not gonna dry it out or, or kind of draw all the moisture out. Um, so I'm excited to try this. And it's a good size as well, because with this sort of thing, because you only need a thin layer, again, you probably won't need to use as much, a lot each time. So you'll probably get quite a lot of use out of this. So that is item number two. Let's have a look. So this is actually a brand that I haven't heard of before. Um, so they are called Dahlia Botanique and it's their C Buckthorn Face and Body Butter. And this is worth £12 and it contains a skin nourishing blend of chamomile, calendula, C Buckthorn and hemp um, in a Muru Muru and Shea Butter base. Now I absolutely love um, Shea Butter. It's one of my favourite things. Um, and I'm just seeing it, yeah, packed with vitamins and fatty acids to keep the skin soft, smooth, supple, and prevent the signs of aging. So obviously you can use this on your face and your body. It also says it's handmade in Yorkshire. I'm from Yorkshire, so um, definitely excited about that. Um, it also does just mention that sea buckthorn can stain, um, so make sure that you, um, it, it's fully absorbed before you put your clothes on or anything, and you wash your hands after you've applied it. Um, but let's have a little look at this. Oh, I wasn't expecting that colour. <laughs> so it's a nice kind of bright yellow colour. Um, and it doesn't particularly smell of anything. It, it kind of smells, it smells natural, um, which it is. So, you know, that's what you would expect it to smell like. It's not unpleasant at all. Um, and it's kind of got like that nice whipped texture, which I think is going to absorb into my skin really, really nicely. Um, so I'm excited to try this out as well with it being handmade in Yorkshire, um, my home county. So, and it's a nice size. I'm just trying to see if there is a size on there, 50 grams. Um, so yeah, and again, another nice size product. That's what I like about this box. You know, it's not always, um, you know, you find a lot of the more well-known boxes is all like tiny sample sizes or travel sizes. Whereas with this, um, they do tend to be either full size or very generously sized um, samples. So the next one, I think I've used this brand before. I seem to, I do seem to remember having um, like a facial mist by them before, but it's a while ago. Um, and it, they're called Aromantic Natural Skincare and it's their Orange Blossom Hydrolat, which is worth £6.30. Um, so this is suitable for all skin types. You basically use it as a toner um, and it has astringent properties to calm and soothe irritated skin. You can also use it as a freshener throughout the day. Um, or you can even pop it on your hair to add a little bit of shine as well. So it's a nice multi-use product. Um, it's 50 millilitres um, and again, Soil Association Organic certified as well. Um, so let's have a little sniff, see if it does smell of anything. Not particularly, although I do have a bit of a blunt nose. I've had a, a quite a nasty cold this week, so I'm just sort of now getting my sense of smell back. Um, or at least um, my nose is not blocked up anymore, should I say. Um, so it's, yeah, orange blossom, neroli and organic. Um, made in Scotland by the looks of it. Uh, so yeah, definitely an interesting product. I do like to use a toner, but toners I do find are kind of, they're not always featured in boxes like this. We get a lot of cleansers, a lot of face creams, you know, a lot of um, 
serums and oils but not really a lot of toners and things so it's always nice to see one particularly because I am actually <laughs> running low on toner so couldn't have come at better, ta better time really and um, I think I remember the facial spritz one that I had was a similar kind of thing it was a, a facial toner but you spritzed it on where this one obviously you pour it onto like um, I've got some reusable um, facial pads so I'll probably use those with this um, and I seem to remember the last one I used I really liked so I'm expecting the same from this so that is number four and then finally a brand I'm no stranger to um, but that is by no means a bad thing um, it's the friendly soap company and it's their travel soap but this one is lemongrass lavender tea tree and peppermint um, so this is worth £2.75 and it's a space saving soap because you can basically use it as a shampoo a body wash you can wash your clothes with it um, it's got coconut cast and olive oil to nourish and cleanse while essential oils smell fresh and uplifting and I can definitely attest to that it smells gorgeous I can smell it through the box I could smell it before I even opened the actual box um, but it's free from plastic it's cruelty free sulfate free preservative free and palm oil free as well so all the good stuff I'm just going to open it out and uh, have a look sometimes the soaps are different colors which this is yeah it's a nice kind of orangey peach color oh that smells so good it really does that really does smell nice you can definitely smell the lemongrass that's such a prominent scent um i'm just having a look on here they're a living wage employer as well which is always good and everything i believe is recyclable yeah recyclable packaging it says right there certified by cruelty free international so that's the symbol you want to be looking for the leaping bunny i'm not sure if you can see that properly there it's a little bit blurry for whatever reason um but the leaping bunny is there and it's also uh, as you can see recyclable and vegan as well vegan friendly so that's the final item so we have a total combined value of 67 pounds and five pence which is as you'll see in a minute when i tell you about the prices um it's an amazing saving for um if you buy the box compared to buying the products separately um or individually so the price is monthly rolling subscription, which is the, the one that I have and have had for three years now, um, is £24.95 a month. That includes postage. Um, you can pay, prepay sorry, for three months, which is £71.10, or six months for £138. So that's upfront, but obviously you pay for that amount and then you don't have to pay again until the next um, three month or six month block. Um, you can also buy a one-off box if you just want to kind of try it out, see what it's like before you commit to a subscription or if you've seen an edit that you particularly like or want to try, um, you can just purchase a one-off which is £25.95 um, or you can just subscribe bi-monthly so you can have a box every two months rather than every month um, and that again is £24.95 but every two months. Um, they also do a plastic free box every quarter so if you're somebody that just wants to subscribe to those specific plastic free boxes um, you will just pay again £24.95 every quarter rather than every month. They also do lucky dip boxes so what these tend to be is usually three products three or four products from past boxes um, just to kind of give you a taster of the things that are going to be included in your subscription it's a nice little gift that you can get for somebody or if you've particularly um, enjoyed I've bought a couple of their lucky dips of lucky dip boxes before um, you can obviously just purchase one for yourself as a little extra if you like um, and they're just 10 pounds um, and yeah they give you a nice little taster if that's something that you're interested in before you commit to a subscription I understand obviously particularly in these sort of interesting times that we've had over the last 18 months or so you know money's tight and you want to know that you're going to be investing your money in something that's worth it um, and I, so I totally understand people wanting to try before they buy um, so the look at it boxes and the one-off boxes are a great way to do that before you sort of, um, commit to a, a subscription um, should you wish to but to be honest I mean every month I receive this box and I am not planning on unsubscribing anytime soon um, I'm always excited to see it it's probably you know the best money that I spend every month it's just a nice little treat for me to get through um, it, particularly during the lockdown as well you know when we weren't really able to go out shopping much it was so nice to get a little box of treats delivered just to help you you know help you with your self-care and look after yourself particularly during the challenging times that we've recently gone through and continue 
to, to go through to a certain extent. Um, so let me just quickly recap on everything. So we had the friendly soap, the, the travel soap, um, which smells absolutely amazing. We had the aromantic natural skincare, um, orange blossom hydrolat. You'll have to excuse my very croaky throat, as I say, I've had a bit of a, <laughs> bit of a cold, so it's still kind of coming back to, to how it was before. Um, then we had the Dahlia Botanique uh, Face and Body Butter. The Kathleen Naturals Dead Sea Mud Clay Mask. And finally, the uh, Bayo Skincare Restorative Beauty Oil. So again, another really, really good edit. Can't see any products there that I won't use um, or that I won't enjoy using. Uh, so very excited to kind of get to trying them all out. Just gonna kind of pack it all away as I'm going. Um, so that was the replenish edit, which has obviously kind of taken us from summer into autumn, um, as it's obviously kind of getting to the point where we're getting those long nights drawing in, which is not my favourite time of year, I must admit. So having a box like this delivered every month to help me get through the autumn and winter months ahead is definitely going to be an absolute lifesaver for me. Um, so I will, of course, as always, be um, sharing a review of this box once I've had a chance to try out a few of the products. I'll be taking some nice pictures as well and sharing those on Instagram uh, over the coming weeks. So keep your eye out for that. Um, I am a little bit behind on my Instagram posts again, just because of um, illness and work and lots of different things, uh, but they will be going up there, I promise. Um, so as always, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think of this month's edit. If you've subscribed yourself, what's your favorite product? Or if you've not subscribed, why? <laughs> um, what what product do you kind of do you most like the look of? Um, and thank you all very much for watching. Take care, and I will see you all soon. Bye.